So the next section I want to show you is a custom trim to start and end. I have a project in front of me here, but I want to trim the left side and the right side to get rid of any noise. Now we could do this with razor editing, create a razor edit over here for our drums, delete it, do the same for the bass and guitars, and do the same at the end for the drums and the bass and guitars. And that's pretty quick, but we could do it even quicker using some custom actions. For custom trim, start and end. So let's go to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter, move edit cursor to mouse cursor. And this is the action we want to use. Create new action, new custom action, and we'll add to it, trim left edge of item on the mouse to edit cursor, move this over here, and we'll give it a name, and save it. And it shows up right here. Let's duplicate it for the right side, edit this one, rename it, get rid of this one, trim right edge of item on the mouse to edit cursor, and now we have those two custom actions, trim left and trim right. And we add a keyboard shortcut to each. I'm going to use A for the left side, and F for the right side. So now, we just put our mouse where we want to trim the left side, type the keyboard shortcut, and it trims that much. Do the same with our snare, the overheads, go to our bass and our guitars, and it trims them perfectly based on where we place the mouse. And for the other side, the right side, just use the other key. Over here, here, and here, and for the bass and guitars. Just like that, we trimmed our project. And we could also add split within it. We could split right here, type in the S key to split it, and the other key to trim the left side to clean it up even more. I just think this is a bit quicker to clean up our audio like this, using those two custom actions for the left side and the right side, just like this. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!